Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you how to convert your Figma file to HTML and CSS. Now this would be a very simple and easy thing to do so make sure you watch this short tutorial all the way to the end so you can fully understand how to convert your Figma file to HTML and CSS. So let's jump into it. Now if you didn't already Figma is actually a collaborative design platform and it basically helps teams create, prototype and test digital products. And it offers a wide range of features, including vector drawing, prototyping, and collaboration. So how do we actually go about converting our Figma file to HTML and CSS? You first want to actually open up Figma and just open up your design. So once you've done that, it'll look something like this. And in order to actually turn it into HTML and CSS, we will have to go to a different website. I'm using this website here. It's called figment.so. So feel free to pause the video and just type that into your search bar if you need to. And then once you're on this page, we can actually read a bit about it quick. So it says here, export your Figma design straight to a hosted website in less than a minute, or you can download the code and host your website anywhere. So this is a really useful tool, and this is gonna help a lot of people and save a bunch of time. So you can save time by generating the code for elements de designed in Figma. So you can get the HTML and the CSS code. You can quickly get animation code, and you can also export full website code, which is absolutely crazy. Now you also have the chance to customize your website before publishing, so you can add hover effects to buttons, you can animate website elements on scroll, you can insert media like videos and GIFs, and you can do a whole bunch of other stuff with this tool. So let's jump into it, I want to show you exactly how you can install it into your Figma right now. So once you're on this website and you're at the start of the page, you should see this button that says get the plugin for free. Now we just want to click this button and we will actually be taken to a Figma community page. So here's how we can actually install the plugin. We just need to go to the top right corner and click this try it out button. And when we click that, we'll be taken to this page and the plugin has been added. As you can see, it showed that little thing up there and that's actually how we access it. So I'm just going to refresh this page quickly, the original one I was on. And then once it's actually loaded, we can hover over this little button, which is for resources. But it's got like some shapes in it if you can't figure out which one that is. And then we'll be brought to components, but we just want to go over to plugins. And then here's the one we just downloaded. So we can click here. So we can hover over it and then click it. And that's how you actually load Figment. So the next step is actually log it in. So you just want to click this button here. And then if you don't have an account, you will have to create one. So now I'm logged in, we're ready to actually use this plugin. So it says here, use this editor to add animations, hover effects, videos, and more to different parts of your Figment design. So all we have to do is basically hover over the design we want to export. And then from there, we can see it on here. We can look through it to make sure it's all the right thing. We can add effects down here. But the thing we're looking for is actually converting our file to HTML and CSS. So down here, you can actually publish to website with no code. However, if we click this export code button, we do actually have the option to get CSS. And we can also export the full page to view HTML, as it says here. However, this is something you will need to pay for. So their paid plan starts at $30 a month and you will be able to export HTML and CSS code. So if this is something you really need and it's going to help a lot of your job or something like that, then this is definitely worth the investment as it will save you a bunch of time. So that's exactly how you can convert Figma files to HTML and CSS. I hope you found this video helpful. And if you did, please comment down below to say this video helped you out. Like and subscribe for more content like this. Thanks for watching.